You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Proverbs chapter 2, and we'll be reading from the New American Standard Bible. My son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, make your ear attentive to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding. For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice, and he preserves the way of his godly ones. Then you will discern righteousness and justice, and equity and every good course. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will guard you, understanding will watch over you, to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness who delight in doing evil and rejoice in the perversity of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways, to deliver you from the strange woman, from the adulteress who flatters with her words, that leaves the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death and her tracks lead to the dead. None who go to her return again, nor do they reach the paths of life. So you will walk in the way of good men, and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land, and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted from it. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege to be able to look at it together today. And we thank you for the reminders that you give to us in your word to be people who willingly receive and eagerly apply your wisdom to our day-to-day -day lives. Lord, we know that we need your help for this. We know that we need your strength and your guidance. And we know that ultimate wisdom only comes to us through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, so, Lord, we pray that we would be students of your word who take the things that are found in your word and apply them to our lives in the appropriate life circumstances so that you receive the glory and so that we live in a manner that brings you honor. We love you, Lord. We're grateful for the fact that you've given us this counsel, and we're grateful for the fact that we have the privilege to walk with you day by day. We commit this day to your care, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.